<laughs> and we're getting ready to go live. Hey everybody! So it's Crypto Chris on Crypto Let's Talk today. So getting right into everything, I want to uh, let everybody know that Joe's okay. Um, he's just uh, got some things that he had to take care of today. Had a family member that needed him and uh, he had to decide uh, which direction to go in. And I told him, you can't go in more than one direction at a time, brother. So um, he sends his hellos to everybody and says that uh, he'll be returning tomorrow. So just want to let everybody know Joe's okay um, and that he will be back, okay? He will be back. So, and let's talk about, uh-oh, uh hang on, guys and gals. All right, I'm sorry about that. Had an alarm going off in the background. I hope everybody... Uh, hope everybody can hear me. If everybody can hear me, could you send some hearts and likes across the screen for me, please? Just to, just to be safe. I just want to be safe and make sure everybody's hearing me. So, um, that would be great if you could. And I apologize for that alarm, everyone. Um, so, yeah, that was one of those things that happens sometimes. And we, we can't control everything, right? We try. So, yeah, Joe is fine. Um, he's helping out a family member today, and that was really important. He needed to do that. Um, <clears throat> additionally, uh, what we're going to say is <clears throat> is we want to talk today. Um, you know, it's it's always fun when Joe's not here because um, you know it, it. And I say fun in a funny way. Okay, so um, <clears throat> it's fun because. I always have to say, oh my God, what am I going to talk about today? Because we, we banter off of each other and we kind of help each other, uh, you know, segue into the things that we want to talk about. So what I want to talk about is the fact that we announced yesterday on our live that there was this new thing called Cash.me, Cash.me. And we didn't really talk about it a whole lot. Um, I think Joe jokingly said, hey, go to this uh, code number. And if you put in this code number, you're going to get $5. Um, and you know, I put my code number in the scroll today. If you haven't already gone, you will get $5. Um, just for signing up and going through the process, you'll get five free dollars. So, um, the thing that, the thing that I want to talk about, and this is really big and I don't think many people got it, but we didn't make a real big deal about it yesterday because we saw it just as we were getting ready to go live, and we didn't have as much information as we would like to have had. Um, however, we did announce it, and we both had signed up um, for Cash.me. And what I want to say about that is this is big because it's part of the mass adoption, okay, that's coming. And we've been talking about mass adoption for weeks and months and years now. And everybody says by the end of 2020, we'll be where we need to be and we will be in mass adoption. So <clears throat> um, my thought process on this and, and what I want to convey to everybody is that it's beginning. Okay, because if you don't know, Cash.me allows you to buy crypto, specifically Bitcoin. Okay, but it, it allows you to buy that in all 50 states. You heard me correctly, all 50 states. So that's a huge thing because, you know, um, in a lot of the states, I'm going to pick on Hawaii for a minute. I know Ms. Sharon and Ms. Patty are in Hawaii, and they have, a, um, they have a really hard time acquiring the Bitcoin for fiat because they can't attach their bank accounts to it, okay? Um, this is legal in all 50 states, and it's launching. It's launching. Aloha. It's launching um, 820, 820. So you want to make sure that you have your cash.me account set up. Um, I had I had um, I had heard of cash.me some time back uh, a couple years ago. It's not new, just so you know. Um, and I was talking with Dawn earlier today. Love you, Dawn. Thank you. And she had had that service for a couple years. And so when we were talking about it yesterday on the show, 
she went to it and it and it rev, it remembered her and she's like, "Hey Don, thanks for coming back. You know, um, just verify this and that, and uh, we'll get you set right up." So that was kind of cool, right? And I think that most people don't get it. Most people are unaware of the fact that. Um, you know, this is part of, this is definitely a huge step. Like this is really huge. I can't stress it enough. And I felt like that yesterday. I wanted to say that yesterday and, um, we just didn't have, you know, when we, when we got the information, it was so fresh. It was so new that we just weren't ready to put ourselves out there, <laughs> you know, quite, quite that much. Um, <clears throat> Cash.me, is it an affiliate program? Well, if you call $5 an affiliate program, I would say yes, because, um, <clears throat> because Sharon, um, anytime that they're going to give you and the person that uses your code $5, you know, that's $10 going out. Uh, and any way you look at it, somebody's got to pay that $10. So to me, that is kind of a uh, resemblance of an affiliate program. But Joe and I leaked this out yesterday. We were the first ones to leak it out. And then behind that came several other of our colleagues and several other programs and a lot of posts on Facebook and um, some of the other social programs. So, you know, don't forget about Cash.me. You really, really need to do a little bit of research. You, you really need to open your mind like an umbrella and turn it upside down so that it catches this information because this is huge. I mean, bar none... Um, it's been kind of a crazy week and it's been kind of a crazy month and it's been kind of a crazy year. And so to me, this is probably some of the best information, some of the best, um, uh, uh news. I, I, I don't like to use the word news cause I'm not a news commentator, but, um, this is really some of the best news that we've had this year. Um, I'm really excited about it. I know a lot of other people are really excited about it. So it's going to, it's going to do some great stuff for us. Um, I also wanted to, to make note that everything is green today. We have a sea of green. One of my posts this morning was um, about the sea of green. I really like to look at that sea of green. Hang on, y'all. Mmm. Good, fresh, hot Colombian coffee. Ah! Mm. With a splash of caramel macchiato. Yes! Okay, so um, now you guys know what my guilty pleasure is. <laughs> so... It's all good. Um, make sure that you use Joe and I's codes. Joe's is F R R N T T J, F R R N T T J. Mine is dollar sign Chris Hanks, and the K and the H are both capitalized. So, um, you you if you're going to join it, you might as well get, uh, you know, that five dollars, right? And then, <clears throat> of course, we have. Um, we have the sea of green that we were talking about. Bitcoin is up today as well as everything else. And, you know, what I noticed more than anything else, okay, it's a sea of green, but the first thing I did was go to the market cap and see what was in the market cap. And it was well over the $2 billion. Um, And we had sunk below the $2 billion, y'all. And I, I just really want to make sure that everybody understands that, you know, your market cap, you need to pay attention to your market cap. You need to pay attention to your Bitcoin dominance. You need to pay attention to these things. So um, additionally, I want to remind everybody that um, there is, you know, we, we did a whole month on social media. And <clears throat> I, I realized, I realized that I failed to give a list of the most popular uh, ones of those social media platforms. So um, I wanted to kind of step back a minute and let everybody know about those. So I'm going to just list them off. Um, so of course it's Facebook, and then you've got Discord, Discord, and then you've got Telegram, and you've got Read It, and you've got LinkedIn, and you've got Steam It, and you've got Bitcoin talk. And so, um, you know, I would, I would suggest, um, the only reason I came, came back and dropped this was, um, I would suggest that everybody diversify on their social platforms. Okay. Um, Instagram is very popular. Twitter is becoming very popular. Um, and you know, some of these other ones are really getting popular. 
So make sure that you diversify on those, okay? Um, now, what do I want to talk about for KGX today? KGX, KGX, Cryptogenics. Well, it's a great company. They got a lot of information. You're going to learn a lot with them. Um, people will begin to, and this is real important, y'all. People will begin to see and um, talk more about cryptos and Bitcoins um, as the price goes up. So you want to make sure that you can direct them to a place that they can learn. And, and I posted on my Facebook wall that I really wanted people to get an education. You know, I understood that the price was down. I understood they wanted to buy. And that's okay. If they can get a friend or a trusted colleague um, to, to help them to get their first Bitcoin, and now you can do that with Cash.me, okay? Um, then the next thing that needs to happen is, um, the next thing that needs to happen is they really need to get educated. So cryptogenics is a must, okay? Uh, and if I seem a little distracted, y'all, I'm trying to watch everything going on. <laughs> so if I if I stumble a little bit, it's not that I forgot what I wanted to say. It's just that a squirrel went across the screen. So um, understand that, please. So <clears throat> we want to make sure that they get educated. We want to make sure that they have the best education available. Um, I happen to know that there, there are some update stuff coming. Um, there's a lot of educational stuff being added, um, and, and, and it's coming. So everybody's going to be getting some more stuff. And that's a beautiful thing because you want to keep your mind working and going and, and understanding that there are things out there that need, need changing, tweaking, and uh, adjusting. So um, with KGX, we also want to remind everybody that tonight we have our, uh, our, our Bridging the Gap call. Joe and I host the Bridging the Gap call. We're honored. We're so humbled um, to to actually host that and and to get to um, to really tease the core five when they come on and and ask the hard questions and stuff. And so you guys have been sending your questions. Make sure you continue to send your questions to askkgx at gmail dot com. Askkgx at gmail dot com. We have some questions that didn't get answered last week and some new questions from this week. And we'll be getting the answers to those. I have a feeling, um, you know, everybody is really interested in what's going on with KGX. Um, I, I have a feeling uh, that we might get some really good news. I don't know. I'm just thinking that we might. I feel that way. So I'm going to project that. Uh, let's see if we get some really good news. And, um, and of course, we always want everybody to remember about the Green X mining rigs and the coin that's coming out. And so um, <clears throat> here's what I want to say about that, okay? And so <clears throat> I don't know if you all realize it or not, but once Bitcoin gets below $6,000 or around the $6,000 price tag, right? Um, you have to realize that it becomes no longer profitable right? For the average person, I'm not talking about the big miners and people that have multiple, multiple, multiple miners and stuff that, that'll hold on to the coins. They'll huddle their coins until the price goes up and stuff like that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the person that is um, mining a coin specifically to have some pocket change or to pay a bill or whatever. Okay. So it, it, it's really not profitable for the little guy. Um, and I, I hate to use that word, but for the, for the smaller folks that depend on the cash flow, that's a better way to put it. The smaller folks that depend on the cash flow, it's not really advantageous once it hits around 6000 to be mining that. And so people have been looking for an alternative. And a great alternative is a coin called Green X. Um, we do not have call letters for it yet. It has not hit the exchange. What I can tell you about it is, it, is it's new. It's not an ICO. Um, it's it's going to it's going to be amazing when everything hits because it's incorporating power and and green power to be more specific and I know that a lot of people are very concerned about the resources and the footprint that it makes to create these coins and these um, these bitcoins and and things and so I know that people will be very excited about that I also know that. Um, when there's a brand new coin and it's going to come out in the same fashion that Bitcoin did nine, ten years ago, okay, um, 
and it's going to be mined first. So it's a proof of work coin, right? So it's going to be mined first. Um, there's an opportunity to make some really nice money. And so for those folks that are looking for an alternative to Bitcoin or, or maybe Bitcoin Cash or Gold or Litecoin or Ethereum or whatever it is that they've been mining, and I happen to be friends with some really uh, nerdy miners, and I didn't say dirty miners, I said nerdy miners, just, you know, to clarify. Um, I know I have a southern accent. So um, I know that they change what they, they change, and they're on top of it. Like, I, I, one of my friends... He, if he if he loses ten dollars mining a coin, he will change algorithms and mine something else. Okay, so um, there are people out there that are looking for the opportunity. They're looking for that big break. They're looking for the chance to actually uh, make some make some money. And I believe, as do a lot of my co partners and co executors and cohorts and co-conspirators and we can co all day long but um a lot of people that i know are very very convinced that this is is good and that they are going to be uh going to be a lot like that um that bitcoin coin so my thought process to that is and just to give you a, an insider's view well, what does that mean? Well, just imagine if you could mine, um, you know, technology's come a long way in 10 years, right? So just imagine if you could mine, let's say, a 1,000 coins uh, in a week. I'm just making it up, right? Um, hey, Jesse, glad to see you. Mafuz, glad to see you. Patty, glad to see you too. Hey, Joe, glad you joined us from the car. Um, and so, you know... I, a thousand coins might not sound like a whole lot, right? But if you're mining them, and and I just pulled that number out of the air because I don't want anybody to say, well, Chris said, um, I, I have it on good authority that it'd be more than that, but I'm just using that as an example. But think about how fast you could mine a thousand coins if it was brand new and the algorithm wasn't very difficult to conquer. That is huge, y'all. That is huge. So, I am definitely, um, I'm definitely very glad that I'll be participating in the Green X. I'm also very glad that I'll be participating in some of the other things that they have coming down the road after. Um, and moreover, I'm just really glad to be part of the company that I am with and in the industry that I'm in. So that being said, I want to just say thank you for everybody watching. Thank you for everybody that comes on and listens to our crypto ramblings. And, um, you know, it. It is, um, it is amazing. It is amazing to me the number of people that get these things. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's a good week. It's been a crazy week. Everybody's really, really busy. Um, I myself was busy right up to the point that, that I jumped on here to do this. Um, I've been working with a lot of things uh, to make my business better and to make my business grow. And, you know, at... at at the risk of sounding crazy and or um, at the risk of sounding uh, deluded, right? You know, we talked about protecting your families yesterday, but I don't really think we drove that home enough because here's the thing that I know. When something happens, and, and, and it's not if, it's when. It's when something happens, you want to make sure that you've got all the bases covered, okay? So... You want to make sure that, that the four needs are covered, right? We have four basic needs. I, I, I'm sorry, I can't get used to this mirroring. We have four basic needs on our life, on our, on our living situation, right? We need, we need food, right? Okay. We need a roof over our head, right? Mm -hmm. We need air, right? So, yeah, everybody, everybody with me so far? So we need air. And what's that fourth thing we need? We kind of need money because money gives us all the other things that we believe that we need and or that we survive with. OK, so you want to make sure that you can you can operate. You want to make sure that you can stay in business. What I want to drive home here is, ladies and gentlemen, your family is your number one business. 
Okay, I'm going to say that again. Your family is your number one business, okay? And so you've got to look out for them first. Always look out for them first. And everything that you do in business should complement your first business and or should look out for or provide for your first business, right? So this is what we need to do. We need to cover the bases and protect our families. We need diversification. We need to have ourselves vested, fully vested, in other types of things that we will be able to barter with, that we'll be able to trade with. Because, you know what, I, I, can't, even, I can't even begin to tell you that we may be going backwards, you know, um, especially if a lot of you get your way. And we talked lightly about this yesterday. You know, uh, it, it, if the central system were to go down all at one time without easing in transitioning into something else, um, we could go back to archaic times. We could go back to historical times where, you know, uh, we're trading a, a goat for you know, a pig or, you know, I don't even, I don't even want to think about that, right? Um, maybe you're good at, 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 uh, at, at pipe work or, or electrical work or something and you trade that service for another service. It could, in reality, y'all, it could really go that far. I know a lot of people don't think about it that way and I try not to because in all honesty, it's not a real positive place for me mentally. And I like to stay in positive mental spaces. So, um, you know, I try not to go there, uh, but we do end up there every once in a while. And um, when you do go there, you have to be realistic about it, right? Like, you, you absolutely have to be realistic about it. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people are going to be sitting there going, now what? Because mm -hmm. they're not going to have a crypto or a Bitcoin or... Um, any gold or silver or, you know, any number of other things um, that you might be able to barter or trade with. And, and worse, they may not have any skills. They may not have any skills, right, to get through life and barter with. And that could be a real problem. And so I just want to, I just really want, you know, everybody to, this evening when you're sitting around your dinner table, and God, I hope you guys still sit around a dinner table. That is so important. But, you know, when you're eating dinner with your family, however you do it, um, just look around at them and think about what would I do if suddenly my money wasn't any good? How would I provide for these people right here that I love so much right now? It is not about um, you joining my business or Joe's business. Um, it is not about, you know, whether you get on board with us or not. It is about the fact that we care about all of you guys and we want you guys to really be prepared and to really understand and to really know that we genuinely care about you all. And because we genuinely care about you all, we want to forewarn you that, you know, things you know, there's a lot of stuff on the news and stuff, and I'm not going to advocate that you go sit in front of CNN all day. I'm not going to do it, okay? Uh, I would probably look for the nearest possible handgun, and in my misery, if someone suggested that to me and I followed through with it. However, um, and I'm by no means suicidal, so don't take that that way. But however, you know, um, it, it, is, it is very, uh, it's kind of brushed over. Like the fact that there's so many problems and so many issues going on, it's just kind of swept under the rug. And so, you know, I want to make sure that we kind of drive that home. And so I did want to circle back around to that subject from yesterday, um, especially since Joe wasn't here to stop me. And um, love you, Joe. And, um, you know, I just, I just feel like it needs to be the message. The message needs to be that our families are our number one business. The message needs to be that our families are our number one message and and business. So, sorry, I got tongue-tied for a second. Um, so, if it's not good for the business, i.e. family, then it shouldn't be good for anything else. And so, we shouldn't do it, okay? Think about it that way. And so, if you can do things that are going to be good for the family and good for the business, then you've made it, right? 
you've made it. And, you know, my grandparents and great grandparents and the great grandparents before that, because I read their stories and they left us letters and stuff. And it, it's just a beautiful thing. But, you know, their whole focus, their whole mindset, their whole mindset was um, protecting the family, you know, creating the family business, passing the family business on to, you know, uh, the folks after us. And so, you know, please go back to that. Please give that a thought. Please sit with your family and think about that and, and kind of visualize what, what does my family business look like? What does it incorporate? Who's working my family business? Because, you know, at the end of the day, I don't know if you guys do it or not, but I, my son gets an allowance and he has chores. And if he doesn't do his chores, he does not get the allowance. It is not automatic, okay? And he gets really upset when he doesn't get his, his allowance. And, you know, it's a learning lesson for him. I can't do everything. Jeff can't do everything. It takes the whole unit to keep everything flowing and to keep everything moving the way that it should. And, and it shouldn't be a stomping fest or, 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 or screaming and hollering fest. Um, it should really just be, uh, these are the things that we need you to do. And these are the things that you get your, you, you know, you get your allowance for. I'm not going to hand him money every time he wants money. Not going to happen. Uh, you know, he needs to work for it. Um, he needs to understand that that is something that, that it comes from work. Okay. Yeah. That, that there's proof of work, and when you do proof of work, you get paid. Hey, I worked that in there. Cool. So I love you guys. I am passionate about each and every one of you. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on, and it is, it's beautiful. It is just absolutely beautiful, and um, because of you guys, we get to do what we do. And so, um, you know, keep coming. Keep showing up. Keep sharing these with people. You know, you can you can share these with your teams, especially the past ones. Um, you know, if there was a really good one that you liked, go to the YouTube channel and grab it and, and drop it to your team. Um, additionally, we would like to remind everybody, um, one more KGX thing. We, we have extended, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we have extended our uh, order for the t-shirts, the official KGX t-shirts, and yes, these were um, these were approved by the Core 5, and they are the only official shirts that have been approved. Um, they will be approving more items as we submit them and get them past compliance and legal, um, but we have extended the deadline to 8-18-18. And uh, ladies, you, you, can, you can definitely get the Heather Gray if you like gray. Um, you know, it is a guy's shirt, but a lot of ladies wear guys' shirts, and there's nothing wrong with that. And then, of course, you you have the pink and the purple to choose from. And um, next time that we do an order, uh, we will we will probably, um, you know, here's what's happening. Okay, um, the colors are shifting. <laughs> you gotta keep up with fashion, y'all. It's crazy. Colors are shifting, so we're about to go into the fall, right? And when we go into the fall, colors will change. So pink and purple may not be available uh, next time. And additionally, we don't want to make it available for the guys for that beautiful, uh, you know, tan skin. Because we're going out of summer, not into summer. So uh, the, I just wanted to kind of mention that in case anybody says, well, why can't I get this? Um, you know, and we're looking at our second order being in polos, which is a little bit more professional. We're thinking that people can wear these, um, you know, to their one-on-ones, to the coffee shops, uh, to presentations, you know, wherever they want to wear them. Um, and I'm, I'm wearing mine everywhere I go. Like if I go to the dealership, I go in the polo shirts, um, you know, and it, 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 someone will always ask me, what is KGX? Like, what is that? And so it, it's a good conversation starter, um, you know, it, it, and it's a good, it's a good thing. Um, it's a good thing to understand that that's what it's about. It's pride in your company. It's pride in yourself. It's pride in your business. It's pride in your family. And KGX should be extended family to all of you. We love you guys. We hope that you enjoyed today. Um, keep coming back. Uh, I'm going to cut it short today. I've got a lot of other things to do. And Joe's not here to keep me rambling. So um, I can't. I can't keep going, but I love you guys. I thank you guys for coming. It's been a beautiful day. I'll get the recording up as quickly as I can, 
And uh, know this, crypto is not going anywhere and neither are we. We're here for the long haul. So hope you plug in, hope you stay with us. And don't forget, make your family your number one business. Family is your number one business. Love you guys. See you guys soon. Have a great day. Thanks.